Alright everyone, so today I'm going to be making a video on class uh, inheritance, so like, if you have a superclass, how that affects a subclass, and how a subclass affects a superclass. Um, there's a lot of things to learn about classes, so I um, recommend that you go read some documentation on them, because there are things called public functions and things called private functions that you might also want to get familiarized with, and I'm not going to be covering those in this uh, video. Also, I did go over classes a little bit before in Python. Uh, if you want, just go to my channel, click on Python Tutorials, and it's probably like one of the last couple uh, videos in there. Anyways, so class inheritance is where you have a superclass that has all of its own methods defined in it, and then you have a subclass which inherits all those methods, but it also refines some other methods. And uh, that might sound a little complicated. Hopefully it doesn't. If it does, don't worry. This will hopefully make it a lot simpler for you when uh, I show how to do it. So, first thing is you just use the class keyword to start defining it, and we're going to make super class. Now, a couple things to keep in mind about this. Um, when you make classes, a um, just normal thing that a lot of Python programmers do, it's kind of like uh, good practice that everyone does is you start the um, each word in a class name with an uppercase letter so we have the word super that starts with a capital S the next word is class we start that with a capital C another thing is in Python 2.x uh, a lot of the time if you don't have something to directly inherit from like a class you want to put object in the parameters because it's going to inherit from whatever object it has in there now maybe it won't take an object but still good practice just in case you end up changing the class anyways in 3.x it's not even like it's assumed that it's inheriting from object unless specified anyways so now we have our class what are we going to do next well we're going to def uh, define a method called power and remember start each argument with self and then x and y also keep in mind it doesn't have to be self it just has to be the same throughout the entire class. So we're going to just have this one return the values of x to the power of y. Um, so that's a pretty simple class. It actually does something and yeah. So um, what we can do next is, uh, well first we should make sure that this class is working so we'll have this instance of class A just be super class. There we go. And then a dot power um, 6 or 5 that works too whatever 5 to the power of 5 3125 okay works for me now we're going to define another class and this one is going to be subclass again um, it's going to inherit from something but since we're specifying it it's not going to be object it's actually going to be superclass next what we're going to do is say define um, well actually we're not even going to define anything uh, and we'll just say pass or actually we'll define an initializing method uh, just to be safe another good thing to uh, do is even though our superclass doesn't have an init method if it does you should always say superclass dot init like that however it doesn't have an init function so we don't have to worry about that and we'll just for now say pass okay so now we'll make another one and it will be b is equal to subclass and enter now if we do b dot power we see that we still get the same parameters from this one even though uh, it's not defined in the subclass but the method goes from here to uh, the subclass or the child and parent classes so uh, we can do 5 to the power of 5 and we get the same answer using a different instance of a different class but because that class inheritance from the parent class we don't have to worry about that and so yeah that's about it for this video I think let me make sure there's nothing else that um, I need to cover um, yeah I think that's it um, anyways thank you guys for watching I hope this helped you a little bit and if you want to see future Python videos, just subscribe to my channel. It's free. 
and uh, like the video if you liked it, it helps me out and yeah I'll be seeing you guys later